Hello, here we have all of the questions related to reordering uh, integration that we've had in the past couple of years. Almost all of the time, these will be rectangular integrals. And what you'll be doing by reordering uh, the, the integration is allowing yourself to take something that you couldn't do use substitution on uh, and put it into a form that allows you to do use substitution. So most of these are going to require you to graph things out. In this case, we see that uh, root x is less than or equal to y, which is less than or equal to 2, and 0 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 4. So x is going to run from 0 to 4, and y is going to run from root x to 2. So there we have our region there. And so we can reorder that pretty quickly just by uh, taking a look at, at these bounds, dx, dx, dy. So if we draw a line parallel to the x-axis, we are going to intersect our region at x equals 0 and leave our region at x equals y squared out here. And then on the y-axis, uh, sorry, uh, it, on y, we just need to look at our extrema because it's our final outer integral. And uh, we see that y is running between 0 and 2. y cosine y cubed. Sorry, y to the fourth. dx dy. And now you'll see that we'll be able to do some u substitution because over here we have no x's in our integrand. So this dx step is just going to multiply in a y squared. So now, uh, let's, let's see, let's set u equal to y to the fourth, du equal to 4y cubed dy, and then our integral will become the integral from 0 to 16 of, let's see, cosine u du. And when we evaluate this, we will get sine u on 0. Oops, sorry, I, I, I miswrote over here. Uh, we have to, this is all, divided by 4 because our du is 4y cubed, and we only have 1y cubed in here, so we're going to be left with a 1 over 4. So sine u over 4 evaluated on 0 to 16, while sine 0 is just 0. And this will be sine 16 over 4. OK, very similar question here. We see that we have, it's a, it's a little little more unclear, though, but we see that we have a y sitting out here, which is OK, and then a cosine x squared. We really would like to get an x out here, though, to be able to do some mu substitution. So let's take a look at our bounds. y squared is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 9. And 0 is less than or equal to y, which is less than or equal to 3. So let's see what that's going to look like. Well, we have y equals 3. We have x equals 9. And we have x equals y squared here. And so this is going to give us this region in here. So now if we're setting up our double integral, dy dx, we draw a line parallel to the y-axis. We see that we'll enter our region on the line y equals 0, excuse me, and we'll exit the region on the line y equals root x. And then for x, it's just our extrema from 0 to 9, y cosine x squared. This works out great because we will get, uh, when we integrate, if I can erase this, we will get y squared over 2 cosine x squared evaluated on 0 to root x, and we will get x over 2 cosine x squared there. So now our final integral from 0 to 9 of x over 2 cosine x squared can be u substituted. So let's set u equal to x squared. du is 2x dx. And so this whole integral can be rewritten as the integral from 0 to 81 of cosine of u over 4 
be u, which is sine of u over 4 on 0 to 81, which will give us sine of 81 over 4. Okay, let's change the order of integration and evaluate this expression right here. First, we need uh, our inequalities and a graph. So root x is less than or equal to y, which is less than or equal to 1, and 0 is between x and 1. Well, x is between 0 and 1. So roughly graphing things, we have root x and y equals 1, and we have 0 and x equals 1. And we see that root x is less than y, which is less than 1. So we have to have the region in between those two bounds, which is that thing right there. So now when we're reordering dx dy e to the y cubed, we know that we would really like to get an e, uh, a y squared in here eventually. So let's see if our uh, reordering will do that for us. And it's always a good uh, hint that you've gone down the wrong road if you're still ending up with something that cannot be you substituted. So as far as dx goes, a line parallel to the x-axis will enter our region on the line uh, x equals 0 and leave the region at y squared. And then on y, we just need our extrema, which are from 0 to 1. This integral is pretty easy because we have no x's in here. So we can get rid of this and just multiply our y squared in. And then this integral, uh, we can do some u substitution. u is y cubed du is 3y squared dy. So we can rewrite this integral as the integral from 0 to 1 of 1 third e, oh, sorry, e to the u du, which is just going to be 1 third e to the u on 0 to 1, which will give us e over 3 minus 1 third, or one-third e minus one. Let's rewrite this integral so that the order of integration is dx dy dz. Uh, and so just like our other questions, even though we're not evaluating this, we should still uh, set up our inequalities and do a graph because that will be very, very helpful for figuring things out. So zero uh, is less than or equal to z, which is less than or equal to 2 minus 2y. We see that 0 is less than or equal to y, which is less than or equal to 1 minus x. And we see that 0 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 1. So interestingly, we don't actually need to graph this one out at all. If we need to express x in terms of uh, y and z, we can do that with the equations that were given here for the upper bound of our first integral dx. We know that y uh, on, on its upper bound is equal to 1 minus x, so x is equal to 1 minus y. And since we have no way of equating x directly to z, we don't need to. And so our upper bound on x should be 1 minus y, which gets rid of a and b, and we're left with c, d, and e. Now for an upper bound on y, we know that, uh, and we want this in terms of z without any x's in it, so that actually, uh, because we've already integrated dx, so that actually gets rid of c and d, and we're left with our, our answer. But we can see why this is the case, because uh, on our upper bound, we know that z is equal to 2 minus 2y. So 2y equals 2 minus z, or y equals 1 minus z over 2. And then finally, if we're expressing uh, an upper bound on z with uh, disregarding x and y, we know that z is equal to 2 minus 2 essentially times 0, which is just z equals 2. And there's our upper bound. So e is our correct answer. Let's reverse this order of integration. We see that 2x is less than or equal to y, which is less than or equal to 2. And 0 is less than or equal to x, 
which is less than or equal to 1. So let's see. y is equal to 2x right there, and 1 and 2. So boom, we have our region there with this intersection point right up here being 1 comma 2. So we can, uh, we can set up our double integral over here if we're integrating dx, dy, oops, even y squared, dx, dy, well, y is going to be, sorry, x is going to be bounded on the bottom by x equals 0, and on the top by, well, it looks like that's going to be, uh, we, well, we have 2, oops, 2x equals y, so that's going to be x equals y over 2 on top. And as far as y goes, we see up there with our ordered pair of that intersection point that y is going to run between 0 and 2. Okay, now we have, we, now we have everything set up uh, to integrate. And since we have no x's in this first integral, our y over 2 is just going to come down into here. And we will see that this will work out to e over f e to the y squared over 4 evaluated on 0 to 2, which is going to be 1 fourth and e to the 4 over 4, which is all this is the same as 1 fourth e to the 4 minus 1. Oh, well, that's how they usually uh, say it, but it looks like up here they're just using this form that we had right here. Finally, let's reverse the order of integration and evaluate this double integral. So we see that x squared is less than or equal to y, which is less than or equal to 1, and 0 runs between, well, x runs between 0 and 1. Oops, my pen fell out of my hand. There we go. So we have our x squared here. And we have x between 0 and 1 and y between 0 and 1. And x squared is less than y. So our region is right in here. dx dy. 6 root y cosine y squared. Uh, and we see that if we integrate on dx and draw a line parallel to our x-axis, we're going to enter our region at x equals 0 and leave our region at root y. And finally, for y, we just want our extrema, which are 0 to 1. We have no x's in this integral, so we're just going to multiply our root y in, and that's just going to remove our square root. And we can do this u sub u is equal to y squared du is 2y dy. So our integral becomes the integral from 0 to 1 of 3 cosine u du, which is just going to be 3 sine u on 0 to 1. And that works out to 3 sine 1. Okay, and we're done. Hope that was helpful.